Yo, we out here. I'm tired. I ain't got no shirt on. Fuck y'all niggas. I ain't putting no shirt on. I'm a real nigga. So, um, there's a quick one. Because, you know, like I said, I don't fucking like taking a hundred years to upload shit. Real nigga news. Real nigga thought. I don't, this real nigga news, I guess. Right? It's not a real nigga thought. But it is a real nigga thought. Fuck the hair. Nigga, I just woke up. It's like four in the morning. Um, I was watching Deces and Mero, right? That's my shit. Them niggas mad funny. Shout out to Deces and Mero. And they was talking about Trump uh, with his racist tweets. And I love it because I already knew it wasn't going to be racist because the president isn't going to be fucking racist, right? So the problem is these niggas is equating and they always have. They equate his opinion about other countries and how shitty they are to um, being racism. So what he most recently said was on Twitter, of course, he said, I'm trying to think, that's why I keep looking off. Um, what he said basically was that these, these, these politicians who, he was talking about women, I believe, and it could come off as a little misogynistic, you know, because he's talking specifically about professional women. But those are the people who are opposing him. So when you factor in that those are the people are who are directly opposing him um, in the forefront of it, then of course those are the people that he's going to attack. So that's one. You got, um, he's talking about the, these people, politicians, women politicians who are from other countries need to go back there and, and, and help to fucking fix the crime and poverty over there instead of coming over here talking about the nonsense that they're talking about, you know? And he might be wrong in the fact, because I heard Deces and Mero talking about, uh, I, I don't know her name is, o- Ocasio-Cortez something. I don't know the lady whole name, but she come from the Bronx and shit. Uh, she come from New York. So it's like, it's a weird opinion to say go back. But then it's not because it's not like these people don't have ties to their homeland, you know? It's not like they're not more connected to there than if he was to say, oh, these black people need to go back to Africa and fix that instead of trying to get this shit together over here. Like, he wouldn't say no shit like that because I'm sure he understands the difference. But we always uh, associate his 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 speech or his, his opinion about another country and how shitty it is to be in racism. But it's not racism because these countries are shitty. You know what I mean? And I, I'm all for natural shit. Right? I'm all for natural shit. And these countries be damn near natural, but it be fucked up at the same time because of all this political shit and all this economic shit. Like, it's different. So, looking at America, America is shitty because it's trying to control everything. You know? Other places are shitty because they don't have nothing. They don't have nothing because they're being controlled by other people. And that's what it is. And and they go through their own struggles. But what you got to really look at in this latest tweet is... Then we just have, I don't, we, we got kids locked up right now. We got kids in cages. Y'all niggas ain't think about that. At the same time as y'all bitching about this nigga tweet and how it's racist, y'all also bitching about how Trump got kids sitting in cages. The kids are sitting in cages not because Trump said, hey, everybody come over here and we're going to take your kids. What Trump did was be the leader of a free country and had a bunch of niggas coming from mad other countries. Why? Because them countries are shitty, nigga. In the same way, what he said, uh, fix the crime, fix the poverty. I think he's, he might have said something about drugs, but I'm not sure. But those are the problems that plague these other countries hard. The migrants that, that was coming over, that was trying to just get into the country, these niggas was coming over under the guise that what they coming from is a place where niggas is getting kidnapped and killed every day. You know, it's crime running the city. So how could you how could you have that fact standing and have such a, a strong opinion about the kids that have been affected by those situations and then still call this nigga racist because he said these niggas need to go back to their shitty countries and fix that over there instead of coming over here talking about the dumb shit that they talking about. And I know what he mean because these niggas ain't focused on security. They ain't focused on the economy. I have not heard any of these niggas that oppose Trump say anything about fixing the economy, um, fixing the housing situation, fixing the homeless crisis, or um, 
or anything serious, nigga. Stopping war, like actually stopping war. All these niggas talk about is trying to get women into office. Literally, that's all anybody talk about. Uh, uh, all people out here groping niggas. Oh man, everybody, every man is racist and, and misogynistic, and we need to get more women in the power. That's the whole narrative of everything. So look at look at look at everybody else, nigga. Look at Trump tweet for yourself, you know, because the shit going to come on news like, oh, Trump's racist again. Even though everything you read or everything they read to you, it was no racism in it. It was just an opinion about a fucking country that you know yourself. You wouldn't go and stay, nigga. You know what I mean? I was in Puerto Rico. That shit was nice, but it was certain shit that I don't fuck with there. Like, nigga, the water wasn't hot enough. <laughs> Petty American nigga shit. The water was not hot enough, my nigga. I got there and there was no refrigerator or stove. Nigga, I don't know if that's standard, but I like to have a refrigerator in the crib when I get there. You know what I mean? That's supposed to be uh, uh, standard. You know what I mean? It's crazy out here. And um, I can't even think of n- nothing else. Really, that shit. <sighs> Ain't, I don't think there's no buses. Nigga, like it's mad different shit that we used to. Everyday life that, that kind of makes our life easier that we don't think about. Shit that these niggas ain't got nowhere else, and they probably not going to get. It's going to take a while to get it. So when Trump say that these places are shitty, don't don't call it racism. Call it uh, uh, educated opinion, nigga. Because these places are shitty to the point where we got thousands of niggas leaving them. Different countries, nigga. They ain't all come from the same country. We had thousands of niggas coming from different countries all at one time under the guise that they shit is filled with crime. It's crime infested. And they'd be better off chancing the children getting taken at the border. Right? Than to um than to chance living there. And last thing I'm gonna say, cause the shit reaching ten minutes. We got an ACS system in this country, right? If I took my family from the home we was living in to just walk to Texas, my nigga. Let's say we cause I'm in New York, let's make it drastic like they did. If I was trying to walk to California, my nigga, like on some real shit, like if I took my family and, and, and niggas just left the home we was living in to just walk to California to go live in somebody else's house, we don't know them. We just walking in their house. So now we got endangering the child because I took their home away from them to fucking walk them across the country, right? To then involve them in the crime of breaking and entering or home invasion, right? Shit like that. So that shit that they get your kid taken away. So why are we looking at these niggas leaving their whole country, nigga, to come and just walk into a place new, fresh? And I know that's what immigration is. But they didn't do anything proper that they were supposed to do. Like in the situation I would be in, I was supposed to get shit together, save the money to go to California, uh, take a take take some form of transportation there so that my kid and my wife not walking, and I buy a place out there so I'm not running into somebody else's shit. They supposed to file what they supposed to file, come over how they can. Like It was mad niggas from Jamaica in my job. Everywhere I work, it's more immigrant niggas working there legally than it is regular niggas. Because these niggas come and go. They only going to be there for a certain amount of time. That's fine. And, um, you know, they leave. So that's why niggas be hiring them. Uh, fucking like work experience. It's crazy. So, you know, that Trump shit wasn't racist. Look at it for yourself. That's real nigga news. Black Moon Pack. Lord, may I have a mouth. Peace.